on Tisha B'Av. There's a Yisur learning Torah. This is the very first thing that the Shulchan Aruch brings down in the Halakha and Tafkuf Nun Dalet, the restrictions of things that one is not allowed to do on Tisha B'Av. And he brings down that there are few things that one is allowed to learn on Tisha B'Av. One of the things that's brought down in the Poskim is saying Tehilim. What's the din of saying Tehilim? Does that fall under the Yisur of learning Torah and one is not allowed to read Tehilim? Or you're just reading, you're reading Tehilim, you're not learning Torah. Says the Mishnah Bura, Noagim lomar Tehilim v'shir eichud b'mincha. So we bring such an opinion. And on the Shah Ratzion he says, Aderech ha'chaim mukhach she'en lomar Tehilim af b'mincha. But he brings such an opinion. Afal pi she'asur b'tolmud Torah kol ha'yom, what would be the permission to learn and to say Tehilim? Since you're not learning Tehilim, rather you're saying it which means it's a prayer, therefore it would be mutar. Says the Mishnah Bura, which means there are those that in Pozna, that would say to the next day, the Tehilim for the Tisha B'Av. You wait till Motzei Tisha B'Av or to the day after Tisha B'Av, and whatever you usually say on daily basis, you'll complete in the next day. And therefore, Rabbi Yashiv says such an idea that if one has a system that he says every day with a group Tehilim in order to get some kind of uh, Baracha or some kind of Segula, he could say it the next day and the skula will still apply. So it comes out according to this Mishnah Bura, and that's the way it ends up, that one should not say Tehilim. And this is how most of the poskim bring down Alakha and Maaseh. It's brought down also in Kafachaim and in the Ola Tzion. Chacham Ovadia, although he brings down a list of poskim that would say one shouldn't say Tehilim, he found the Leket, Leket Yosher that allows it. And he's posek with that. It's a little bit strange that he leaves majority of the poskim. He found the leket yosher, and he's posek like that. And he says that one that wants to say tehillim, he has who to rely on, and it seems like he goes with that. Although uh, it's brought down over here that there's a problem with that. The binyan olam says that kama mizmurim yesh besefer tehillim shem derech shirot v'dishbachot. Not everything in Tehillim is way of a prayer, is derech bakasha. Rather, some of them are shirot v'tishbachot, which is something you shouldn't do on Tisha B'Av. And therefore, it seems like it's better for majority of the poskim not to say Tehillim. One could, at that time, learn the things that are permitted on Tisha B'Av. But saying Tehillim, it seems like it's better not. And... If one has a set uh, way that he says normally every, uh, every day a perik of Tehilim, a certain amount of Wakim of Tehilim, he could complete it the next day and he would get the same bracha and the same sgula for that uh, that he says normally by, by completing it the next day.